Williams as a Formula One team have often been called the team that's all heart. And you can really feel that pull of passion and historic prestige here at Williams. Over the years, Williams has nurtured many great talents. The team gave Ayrton Senna his first Formula One test in 1983, and it was with Williams that Nigel Mansell scored his first Grand Prix win in 1985, and his only world title in 1992. And Damon Hill took all but one of his 22 race victories and the 96 world title bearing the Williams team name. They're drawing upon their battery systems used in Formula One cars to create the new battery and battery management systems in Formula E cars. Williams is a company that has a, a fantastic pedigree in, in advanced uh, engineering right from the, the start of racing and always been at the forefront of technology from an automotive point of view. Formula E is, is, is quite special, the first all-electric racing series. We've had to deliver 40 batteries plus some spare batteries. We've had to do it in a very short period of time uh, and that's really what Williams Advanced Engineering is all about. In electrical engineering terms, we define power as kilowatts. By rules and regulations, we've got approximately 30 kilowatt hours stored energy in the battery and can provide 200 kilowatts. 200 kilowatt is effectively equivalent of 270 horsepower. One of the important features of an electric propulsion system is its regenerative braking capability, which means that to slow the car down, electric machine starts operating as a generator. The Formula E battery is equivalent to uh, like 10,000 AA batteries. The approximate battery dimensions, they're about 700 millimetres by 800 millimetres by 500 millimetres tall. They weigh approximately 320, 325 kilograms. These are lithium-ion cells. We have a considerable number, over 150 in the battery, and these cells are considerably larger than you would see in the back of your mobile phones and laptops. When the battery delivers so much power, it, it will start heating up, therefore, uh, it is very important for us to control the thermal aspect of the battery. We had to come up with an innovative method uh, to cool the batteries down. So we use a very special uh, chemical which is not conductive in electricity but it has good cooling propagations. It's a dielectric. It is just pumped round every single cell, every single part of the electronics etc. It's all uh, temperature controlled. We are extremely excited about being part of Formula E racing series and effectively powering the entire grid for the Negro season of it. It's, it's a very, very exciting program to be involved in. It's the first of its kind. It's always nice to be involved in something that's completely fresh and new. I think the cars look fantastic. I think it will be a very positive thing. Uh, I think the way it's been done in cities, it's very nicely integrated with the environmental message. This is a very clear statement that not only has the battery got its practical applications, but it can also be a lot of fun. Williams' battery expertise first originated from its Formula One program, following the introduction of kinetic energy recovery systems into the sport in 2009. Williams has been involved with high performance batteries and electric devices through um, Kerr's system for a few years with Formula One and I guess with having that capability we were well placed to support Formula E when we were approached. We've been able to use the battery as a structural member in the car so it effectively replaces a, what would be an alloy block of an engine. So a structural component with an inbuilt safety case. We are breaking new territory with the boundaries of the battery development. The batteries have been tuned specifically for certain performance criteria. But some of the things we've, we've learnt through the thermal management, in particular of the batteries, and the battery management systems will definitely find their way into passenger vehicles in time.